Hey, welcome to my amazing Easter slash spring sort of decor Dollar Tree haul. Um, this big one right here has some of my favorite items that I've found so far. And some of this will be going on the tear tray that I've made right over there. But let's get into this big one. I'm brewing coffee in the background, so that's probably what you're hearing. Okay, so this beautiful egg, they have several different ones, different colors with different letters on them. It's just so cute for decor. I found this because my last name is Cecil, so I thought that would be cute on a tiered tray or pretty much anywhere for Easter. They have these wood bead jute garland. They're so cute. I only got this one. I think there are two other um, colorways, but I just love the little tick on this one and the yellow gingham ribbon. Just super cute. And for $1.25, you can't beat that. These have been going around for a couple months, maybe even around last year, I'm not sure, but I just think that's so precious. I got the orange one. There is a blue one and a pink one. I thought that was so cute. Maybe put some flowers in or something. They have these moss bunnies. There's three in a pack. And this is Crafter Square. Um, excuse me, those are gorgeous for the tiered tray or literally anywhere. You can even use these on wreaths. Speaking of wreaths, I plan to make one with these cute carrots. They come with six in a pack. These are off also Crafter Square. And I got quite a few of these because my plan is to glue them together and attach them to a wreath form. Which, uh, they also have at the Dollar Tree. I picked up this one. It's just a floral foam wreath form. I was going to try to attach all these carrots on there. I think that would be super cute. My coffee maker's talking to us. Uh, sorry. <laughs> of course, I had to get this adorable um, Mickey Jumbo coloring and activity book. Swing into spring. This is adorable. Mickey and friends. I just love this. So cute. Oh, look at Minnie. Perfect for like Easter baskets and you can't go wrong with Mickey. I found this kitchen towel. It's microfiber, but I'm just gonna use it for decorations, of course. It is so dainty and beautiful. I love it. There is another cute Mickey item. Well, it's from Disney. It is an egg decorating kit. It comes with five coloring tablets, one egg dipper, 52 stickers. That's gonna go in my kid's Easter basket. I thought that was super cute. I found these LED lights. There are quite a few out right now. We do have a plus uh, Dollar Tree here in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, and I'm waiting for them to stock the Peeps ones. I don't know if y'all have seen those. They're like, I think they're three or five bucks, but they're super cute. Anyway, these are the little bunny LED lights. I think those are so cute. There's green, pink, yellow, and blue. And they take two AA batteries. Not bad for a dollar and a quarter. Now we're gonna get into the signs that I found. The signage this year at Dollar Tree is so good. Like they've really stepped their game up and I'm really excited to decorate with these. Look how cute that is. It's a wooden 
yardstick. You can put it outside or you can even just rip this off pretty easily and just use this little chick with these three eggs and a flower bow. That is so cute. I'm obsessed. It's kind of got like a vintage look to it. I love this rabbit. This bunny rabbit is so cute. And they have the pretty um, bow detail. I love these. I'm actually going to put these in front of the house. I think they're super cute. There may be another one or there might be another one. I forget what it is, but so cute. Next up are these signs that I fell in love with when I seen someone haul them, but they were really hard to find in my city. And I found them last weekend. This one says hope. This one says faith and it's got some glitter detail on it. It's so pretty. And this one says love and I love, love this one because of the little bunny rabbit. It's, I don't know, like a vintage farmhouse sort of. So pretty. Here is another beautiful wall decor piece. It says, welcome friends with a raised bunny rabbit. So pretty. It's shaped like an Easter egg. This is totally farmhouse and I love this one. I had to have this one, like, come on, this, looks like I picked it up at Marshall's or Hobby Lobby. Um, it is super beautiful. It's black and white. It says Bunny Trail Farms, egg hunts daily, 25 cents a basket. I wish things were 25 cents a basket this, these days. A basket of eggs goes for a lot more right now, unfortunately. But isn't this just beautiful? The detail, the etch, like the sketch of the bunny rabbit. It's so vintage to me. So pretty. I grabbed this one. This is adorable. Signature Easter spring colors. I grabbed this one because I'm going to put it in the middle of a wreath that I'm going to make with um, deco mesh around. So... Uh, I think it is the perfect size for the middle of a wreath. So I grabbed that one. Happy Easter. Hop. How cute. This one is one of my favorites. This is so beautiful. It's so precious. It says Easter Egg Farms. Bunny treats sold here. I love the pastel color in this. And then like the vintage farmhouse look. It's just beautiful very dainty in spring. It does have some glitter on it. Love it. I um, grabbed this one for a wreath as well that I'm going to be making. Welcome to our carrot patch. And this one's really popular this year. Um, it's not my favorite. I'm not a big fan of vintage trucks for some reason. I don't know unpopular opinion but I mean it's cute I'm gonna put it on a wreath form in the middle with probably um, uh, some ribbon or something I don't know yet but it's pretty cute I like the bunny and it's raised right here so that's nice this also doesn't look like a Dollar Tree sign to me I feel like you could find this at Hobby Lobby oh and it has the beading on the top that's a pretty nice detail there. So there's that one. So those are the signs that I got. Um, I found this garland. It's the Spring Fling Collection. Right up here they have a lot of pretty stuff this year. I just thought this was so cute. I think I'm gonna put this over my um, fireplace and it has leaves in between every flower there's pink 
Oh, and this little tassel detail, so cute. A leaf, a yellow flower leaf, a blue, and a pink. So yellow, blue, and pink. And a little pom-pom. These are, this is just so cute to me. Yeah, I'm gonna put that over my fireplace. How cute. And next I got these window clings. Um, I saw a YouTuber make something very creative with window clings. Um, and I'm gonna attempt to do that. It was Jennifer with, what is the name of her channel? Oof, I forgot. If I remember, I will tag her, of course for all her hard work and she is like very creative. So I wanted to try what she does and I'll explain that to you in just a minute. But I got these window clings. Aren't they so cute? Happy Easter, 10 pieces. They have the little chicks and stuff. That's adorable. I really love this one. It has glitter on it. I love that hedgehog in the car. That's way too cute. I mean, come on. Oh, <laughs> he's adorable. Look at this hedgehog, so adorable. So I got these two. Okay, now I remember it's happiness is homemade for Jennifer. She's actually in the same state and city as me. So if she was to ever see this, hi Jennifer and I love your videos and you're my neighbor, so what's up girl? <laughs> but anyway, I got this idea from her. She took window cleans and um, just like any flat, cute service. I found this at the Dollar Tree. It's just called decor, but it's like a wall hanging. And then I found this little tag. So what she did, which is so creative, is she stuck like, I think I would, this is a perfect size, stick this little chick on here because it clings and it will stay down and then put Mod Podge over it. So it kind of seals it and gives it a pretty finish. And there you go, you have like a de decor piece for your like tiered tray or pretty much anything. I love that idea and I can't wait to do that. And then for this, I mean, that one's pretty big. You could do a couple of these on there. That is just so, such a like clever idea and I'm really excited to do that. And I'll show you all once I do it. Okay, next up, I wanna show you all some of the florals that I've found in my local Dollar Trees this uh, almost springtime. They're amazing. So I just stuck these in this cute picture that I had just to uh, hold them there until I figure out what I'm gonna use all these florals for. And I just wanted to show you all like these lavender ones, they have beautiful detail on them. If you can see, they look real to me. For only $1.25, you can't beat this. Honestly, it's so beautiful. So I found the lavender. There's some greenery. So pretty, it's like frosted. Love it. They have these little flocking balls, have beautiful detail on them. This is like a peachy color. I believe they have other colors. I like this one because it's the most neutral one that they have, so I grabbed that. I mean, even just that right there is beautiful for a kitchen table or even on your countertop. I think that's gorgeous. I found these dogwoods. Beautiful and cherry blossoms. I think these are my favorite. I'm not gonna um, say that, I might butcher it so you can read it. There's the yellow ones, the white ones, and these like fuchsia hot pink ones. Now these scream springtime to me like you can do so much with these and they look real come on dollar tree you're amazing <laughs> just saying there's some more of those uh verbernin 
Burnham, I'll have to look that up on Google, how to pronounce it, but just so pretty. Like these would look really pretty in here. And I grabbed these tea roses. They're like a really pretty lavender fuchsia pink color, as well as these daisies that are yellow. They kind of got squished up in my car during transport to my house, but it is what it is. It's okay. We can fluff them up. They'll be fine. So I thought those were really pretty for springtime. And I've saw, um, I've seen people haul these gift boxes. Ugh, they're so cute. This one kind of got bent up in my car as well, but I'm going to remove the ribbon from it. Just pretty easy to do. And then kind of use it as a vase or a vals, whatever you call it, <laughs> wherever you are. Hold on, there we go. I love this, look how cute. So whenever I decide, you can bend these two to make them um, the height that you want. I haven't decided what florals I'm gonna go with yet, because I wanted to haul this stuff and show you all, but Look how adorable that is. A super easy DIY that you can do with all Dollar Tree stuff. Let me get the picture. I probably wouldn't use as many roses in this, but so look how cute. That is so cute, y'all. Love it. Here is some of the crafting stuff that I found at uh, my local Dollar Tree. You've probably already seen all this before, but maybe um, this will inspire you or you can click ahead. <laughs> um, I found this a floral foam. They always have that in my Dollar Tree around here. And I showed you this earlier, the floral um, wreath foam. And of course, they have the Crafter Square Easter Seasonal Deco Mesh, which I love to use when making wreaths. And I use wreath forms shaped like this usually, which is a really amazing deal. If you find these at like Michael's, Walmart, um, any other crafting store, they're going to be a lot more expensive, especially Hobby Lobby. And these are only $1.25. So if you're lucky enough, you I mean, I always see them in there. So it's just a great deal. So I use these forms for the deco mesh. And I got white, which is like a really pretty pink iridescent, I guess you would call. I got the pink and I got the purple. Now, I want to show you what I found this year, which I've never seen before. This. This is so pretty. I got several of these because I'm going to make a wreath with just this mesh here. It's just like a beautiful gray blue color. So I got quite a few of those. And I got seven or eight. And of course, Dollar Tree always has the best ribbon. I mean, it's like mediocre quality, but it gets the job done, and I'm a fan. So I found these. I got a couple of these each for wreath making. I got this cute bunny wreath. I'm coming. Sorry. So for this, I believe that I'm going to use what I also found, monocle rope, jute, jute rope, it's beautiful. We use that. And I also want to incorporate this beautiful blue gingham ribbon. I have not seen the blue one in this shade yet. That's the perfect spring shade. But I have seen most of all other colors, but I found this and I was super excited to use it. And I think that this would be beautiful with that decor sign with the vintage truck on it. But we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. This poor bunny. He was coming apart, but it's okay. We can still use him. So that's 
and what I found in the crafting section. I picked up some Chanel stems. These come in handy when you're making wreaths. So I'll grab these. That's some of the wreath stuff that I found. Dollar Tree usually has these uh, amazingly cute springtime little uh, baskets and organizational things. Seems like a beautiful mint color. I believe that I'm gonna put like important papers and bills and um, mail in this. I think that would be like the perfect size for that. So yes, always keep your eye out for the organizational bins and totes and baskets at Dollar Tree. I picked up this little Nomi. He's pretty cute, or she, or they. I don't know what he identifies as, but pretty cute, huh? So I got him, her, they. <laughs> Pick this bunny up too. Uh, I've seen these everywhere. I might give him a little bow here. I don't know yet. Maybe just leave him as is, but uh, it's a staple. He's pretty cute. You can do anything with him. I was so excited to find these carrots. These are super, super nice quality for the Dollar Tree. Let me just say, I've seen these at... Oof, I think it was either Meyer or Walmart. They were $5 a piece. This was only $1.25, and it's actually really nice. And you can even hang it. And there's two adorable designs. The polka dot's my favorite. I mean, the quality is super nice. So I hope you all are able to find these. I was excited when I found them. How cute are those? Oh, had to pick up these socks. They're so cute, dainty, and I just love them. Little bunny rabbits with flowers, blue, pink, and yellow. These are super cute. I love them. Okay. Up next, I found this egg container, and I have a pretty cool idea for this. I believe I want to spray paint it a gold color, or maybe even just like flat matte white. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna attach it together. It's gonna make a super cute decor piece. So we just snap some into place. Well, he's supposed to. Let's see. Oh, there he goes. So I was thinking I'm going to paint him white or gold. I haven't decided yet. Spray paint him. And he will make a super cute decor piece. So there's that. I've been seeing these hauled a lot. And I can't even complain because it is just so adorable. I can't even handle it. So cute. Now, the smell is weird not gonna lie to me anyway it smells like orange dish soap it does it smells like that orange dish soap the real popular one it's not what's the name of the dish soap dawn maybe i don't know but anyway he's too cute i couldn't pass it up so i grabbed it because just come on it's so cute and you can i probably won't i'll use it because i don't like to be wasteful but you could probably change out the soap inside if you didn't like it. It doesn't smell bad or anything. It just doesn't smell great. <laughs> like, it doesn't smell as good as it looks, if that makes sense. So, he's cute. There was a duck there too, but I just like the bunny better. And I found these foam eggs, the glitter ones. They're like ornaments. It shows here like a little Charlie Brown tree. How cute is that? Um, I'm going to use these for the tree that I got at Dollar Tree, and I'll show you all. I've already pulled it out and got it together here in a second. I'll show you what the tree looks like if you haven't seen it yet. I got the white one, and then I also have the pink one from Valentine's Day, which is a super great deal. Both of them are from Dollar Tree, and they're both $1.25 each. So I'll show you those trees in just a minute, and I haven't decorated them yet, but I'm excited too. I'm going to use these foam eggs. So I got two packs of those. There's 12 pieces in each. And it comes with all these pretty colors. And I grabbed this 
little basket that I'm going to use to decorate. And even, okay, so I think I'm going to paint him a flat white probably because I was just going to put him in there. How cute would that be with like some grass and I don't know, something else right there? Haven't decided yet, but I thought that would be cute. And it says, shake your cottontail. I love that. There were two other or three other, other ones that were really cute. So there's that. I'm so backwards, y'all. I got the, this is the Easter tree this year, or Dollar Tree, $1.25. I put them together because I say I'm backwards because I use this for Valentine's Day. I got these little pink pearls, garland around it already. I used it on Valentine's Day, but I took down all my Valentine's Day stuff and put it away. But I, I thought I would keep these pink ones on here because, you know, Easter and springtime. So there's that Easter tree. I'm gonna make it all cute and stuff when I do my Easter decor. Uh, hopefully like a week or so. But that'll look super cute with these on it. Move over, I have the pink tree. <laughs> this tree here is from Valentine's Day. But I'm definitely gonna use this for Easter as well because it's pink and pink is spring to me and actually I love pink all year around. So yeah, definitely gonna use the pink one too with the beautiful white one. So I'm gonna use those two and even you know some eggs on here and on there and make a really pretty bow with some of the Dollar Tree ribbon that I have. Um, I don't know, my imagination is soaring right now. I'm super excited to decorate these. Make sure you pick them up. I hope you guys find them. This one Dollar Tree in my city still has a bunch of these left, even though they're from um, Valentine's Day, but I think that's a great deal. Okay guys, I wanna thank you so much for watching my video if you watched it or just even clicking on it or if you made it this far thank you so much i hope this has inspired you to go to your local dollar trees and do the most magical dollar tree hunt ever because that's my favorite pastime it makes me happy and i hope that this video makes you happy seeing all these beautiful spring decor items and all the fun finds that i've found in my local dollar trees i would love for you to Subscribe to my channel, comment, say hi. I hope you all have a magical week ahead of you and I hope to see you all again soon.